Hey guys, so today's video, I'm gonna clean out my ovens because I have two. It's like one of the things I never thought about when I decided to get a double oven was that I had to clean two of them. Um, so we use the different ovens, different seasons. This is like so sidetracked. So if you're looking into getting a double oven, this one blows out air right here. So if it's summertime, we don't use this one because it makes the room hotter. So this is our summertime oven and this is our wintertime oven. Excuse me. So I'm going to take everything out of my ovens. Um, all of the racks and pans. I store all of our pans in both of the ovens. <laughs> I just switch them around. But I don't know. I think I've cleaned it one time. And I didn't use like an oven cleaner. I just did like baking soda and vinegar. Um, but I'm going to try something different. So you can see. This is dirty. This is the one that gets used the most. Oh gosh, you guys. <laughs> um, and then this one's not that bad. This, this part gets kind of gross. But I'm going to take out the pans and the racks. And then I'm going to vacuum out all of the little crumbly food bits and then um, we'll get to cleaning. Oven number one, this is my top oven. I'm gonna try to use this, the new Dawn Platinum Power Wash Just Soap Spray. Um, and then I'm gonna also spray it down with, um, this is my, just a glass bottle that I have and I put like water, I don't know, to here and then I fill it up with vinegar and then a couple drops of Dawn. And then I just use this as my like multi-cleaner, like I wipe my counters down, cabinets down, stuff like that with this. So I'm going to spray this down and then I'm going to spray it with the other one then let it sit for like, I don't know, an hour maybe. So, and I've never used this. I just bought it yesterday. All right, it looks like it's, Ooh, the light is going to be bad, but you can see it's already like going to work. Okay, it doesn't smell bad. It actually smells pretty good. This is the fresh scent. I don't like the apple smell of Dawn stuff. Um, I saw somewhere people were talking, I don't know if it was TikTok or, it TikTok, TikTok or Instagram or YouTube. They were talking about how it smelled like fish or something. I was like, oh God, I don't want to buy that. <laughs> um, so here's the top one and I'm going to spray it with the vinegar. And then I'm going to close it. Maybe? No, because I want it to stay here. So I'm not going to close it because I want this to stay open. So <laughs> I'm going to do the bottom one first. So I'm going to do the bottom one, spray it down, and then we'll just let them sit for like, I don't know, maybe an hour. Okay, it's only been 15 minutes. And it looks like, I mean, it looks pretty good. So I'm just going to let it keep going. I have a timer right here so I can remind myself to come back. But I'm um, looking good. All right, it's been just a tad bit over an hour. I was playing a, a big old game of Uno with Noah. It's his day home. So this one, this is the top one. So I'm going to try and wipe it.
And I have a little scrubby brush. I just have my regular kitchen sponge. And then I have one of these brushes. I got this from Walmart for like two bucks. I think you can get it with the Dollar Tree too. I just saw one when I was there. So I'm just gonna scrub. And you might not even have to, but I guess I just feel like I need to. <laughs> Maybe even put my hair up so my hair doesn't get in the soap. All right, so I'm gonna keep rinsing this and then I'm gonna work my way to the back. Okay, so this is pretty clean. Ooh, I'm zoomed in really far. So this I'm happy with. This I'm just gonna let it sit for maybe, maybe another hour. Um, I did like scrub it and get it wet again so it kind of like activates the soap again. Um, but I'm just going to do the same thing down here. And then this one wasn't, I can't remember which one was the worst one. I think this was the worst one. So I'm gonna clean this and then just kind of like get that going again since it's kind of dried a little bit. All right, so it's been about two hours. I got these pretty nice and clean, so that worked well. And I've sprayed it down twice with just like the vinegar just to kind of keep it wet. So I'm gonna wipe them down and then, or scrub it and then wipe it down. And we'll see what it does. what we got it doesn't look too bad I mean it's gotten a lot up um, the glass is pretty clean that streaks where I dried it um, here's this one these are just like really bad spots like you know like casseroles have like leaked over um, I would say that if you're really good at maintaining your oven like cleaning it this would be a great way if your oven is like super bad like really bad or you moved into a place and it's really bad I wouldn't suggest using it you might just have to go for like the oven cleaner do it one good time and then maintain it with like the dawn so you're not using harsh chemicals every time but if you get a really good clean and then you can use something simple like this um, to keep it clean but yeah happy with it so maybe the next time maybe not five years from now I can't remember how long ago it was but it was a while since I've actually cleaned my ovens but um, yeah I don't think they look too bad so there you go using the new Dawn power wash to clean your ovens so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next time bye guys <laughs>